Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will try to perform well modeling of a well with dual ESP. All right, so we will install two ESPs in a single well. Sometimes we have very high productivity, but the available ESP cannot achieve quite high production rate. So we need two or more ESPs in order to produce the oil at high flow rate, all right? Or maybe our casing is too slim so that only one ESP cannot produce the oil at high flow rate. And therefore we need two or more ESPs, all right? And in this case, we will install two ESP in a single oil well. We will perform the modeling with PipeSim software. So we are now in PipeSim software. All right, let's start general well name, let's call it dual ESP. It is an active well, well type production, check valve setting block refers. You can input your comments here, dual ESP. All right, now we go to tubulars. We select for the mode, detailed, and dimension option, wall thickness. All right, so first we need to input the casing information. Casing, we call it casing, starting from zero down to 12,000 with ID 8.681. You can follow me and wall thickness of 0 0.472 and roughness of 0 0.001. All right. This is the information for our casing. Okay, we can then go to the tubing. We input the tubing. We call it tubing starting from zero, of course, to 8,000 in feet. And the internal diameter is 3.958 with wall thickness of 0. 0.5. Two seven one, and we can use the default roughness. All right, so far so good. And you can see the configuration or the picture of our well is depicted in this side. All right, now we go to deviation survey. We have 2D, so it's a deviated well, dependent parameter, angle, calculation method, tangential, depth reference, original RKB. Well head depth at zero feet, bottom depth of course at twelve thousand, and you can follow me for this table, starting from zero, measured depth and true vertical depth, and then seven thousand five hundred. It's still a vertical section, and then eleven thousand six hundred. This will be 10,827. All right, so this is the plot. True vertical depth against horizontal displacement. You can also get the data in the table like this one by clicking this icon. All right, now we go to downhole equipment. We will install Packer. So let's call it Packer. All right, we locate the packer at depth of 7,990 feet. All right, you can see the packer here. Now we go to artificial leaf. And in the pump leaf, we add ESP. Okay, we change the PCP to ESP. And we call it bottom ESP or BESP at depth of 8,000 feet, all right? And then we will add another pump. It should be ESP and we will call it top ESP or T dash ESP, which will be located at depth of 7,600. All right. 
as you can see, we now have two ESPs, right? And now we need to input information inside our TESP first. Okay, so name TESP, active, measure that F 7600. And now manufacturer, we select Okay, we will select radar pump GN700. All right, GN7000. All right, so we can click this one pump at number of 271, manufacturer radar. Model GN7000 series 540 with range of flow rates. All right, we click OK. All right, as you can see, this is the information and this is our pump curve. All right, our pump performance curves, the head against flow rate efficiency the red line and the green one is the power all against flow rate all right you can see here manufacturer radar model gn7000 diameter of 5.13 inches series 540 with minimum flow rate of 5000 barrel liquid per day maximum flow rate of 9000 and let's say best frequency is 60 Hertz, operating frequency also 60 Hertz, and the operating speed will be calculated, almost 3,500 RPM. And the stages, let's say, we need only 45 stages with head derating factor of 0 0.96, rate derating factor one, power derating factor also one, and for calculation options, we select viscosity correction. All right. Because the pump curve here is constructed using water with viscosity of one. So we need to check this one viscosity correction so that the performance will be adjusted to our oil viscosity. All right, so far so good. You can also check the table here by clicking this one. We have flow rate, head, efficiency, and power in the form of a table. You can also check the variable speed curve like this one. Very interesting. With 45 stages, of course. All right. We go back to pump curve. Click this one. Now we go to bottom ESP. We click the bottom ESP. All right. So now we are in bottom ESP and it will be of a bigger size compared to the top ESP. All right, we call it BESP, active measure depth of 8,000 feet. And now we select the pump. We click this one, top 10 the catalog. Again, we go to Reda. All right, and now we will select the J series. J7000. All right, this one. Manufacturer, model, series, minimum flow rate, and maximum flow rate. We select. All right, you can see here our pump curve. It's here. Manufacturer, Reda, model, J7000N. Diameter of now, it's a bigger size, so it's 6.75 inches. Series 675, minimum flow rate of 4,500, barrel liquid per day, maximum flow rate of 9,000, best frequency 60 hertz, operating frequency 60 hertz, and operating speed will be calculated, 3,500 RPM, stages, we need only 40 stages, head rating factor 0.93, Rate derating factor one, power derating factor one, viscosity correction. All right, 
this is the pump curve and this is the variable speed curve with 40 stages all right okay now we go to heat transfer we select multiple ambient temperature input multiple also okay depth option measured depth so now you can follow me at zero feet the ambient temperature is 60 degrees Fahrenheit with U value of 2. And at 11,600. The temperature is 210 with the same U values. All right, this is the plot measure depth in feet against ambient temperature. The blue line is ambient temperature line and the red line is U value line. All right, now we go to completions. 